Alright, so today we're going to be checking the valve clearances. Uh, first, you're going to need to take off your seat. Just the two seat bolts right here. 12 millimeter on this bike. Then you're going to need to tank off, take off the gas tank also. Some uh, 8 millimeter uh, bolts in there. You're going to need to disconnect your fuel line right here. It's just a simple little clip right here and make sure your gas is turned off so no gas comes flying out of there and then you're going to need to take off this little uh, flap this uh, strap right there to hold the tank on um, so we'll get all that off and then we'll be right back alright so we got the gas tank off uh, sitting right there on my bench um, Next thing we're going to need to do is take off the valve cover. That's this right here. Uh, it's just held on by two Allen bolts right there. Um, so I'm going to get those out. And then uh, we'll... Uh, well, first you need to disconnect this hose right here. Um, you want a cold bike while you're doing this. You don't want to have it running before you do this. You don't want it warm or anything like that. So you're going to need to disconnect this hose right here. And then uh, you can take out your spark plug cap too. So I'll do that and then we'll get the valve cover off and then we'll be right back. Alright, so I got this uh, these lines taken off. This big one right here and then this small one. Got those off. I've got, also got the spark plug out. Um, spark plug cap off. I'm not sure if I, have to if I have to take out the spark plug. I'll check in my manual real quick. But um, <clears throat> uh, if I do, I'll let you guys know. So I'm. Um, gonna pull off the valve cover right now so stay tuned all right now we're ready to pull off the valve cover here um, uh, not sure if it's this way on all bikes but on my bike there's like this kind of glue or something I believe it's called Yama bond it's for sealing gaskets and stuff um, but it's like really hard to get off this valve cover it is like really stuck on there so I'm gonna keep wiggling and pulling and it should pop off pretty soon so it might be like a little hard to get off on your bike also alright so we finally got the valve cover off here there's the bottom of it that's uh, your spark plug hole right there right here um, <clears throat> and here are the cams right here uh, intake cam and exhaust cam this one, this intake has three lobes, and the exhaust has two. Uh, so here I'm, I'm going to show you how to set the timing to top dead center. So I'll be right back. Alright, over on this side of the bike, um, these are the cam gears. Um, here's the cam chain right here. Uh, um, so you see here on the cams there's these dots. Um, my big fat finger might be in the way, but see there's a dot right there, dot right there, and a dot right there. Um, those are your timing dots. You can use those to line it up for top dead center too. Um, so I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll explain more in the next section. Alright, um, <clears throat> here you can see my timing dot right there, another one right there. Um, I believe I am at top dead center, at least pretty close to it, because, um, there's a dot right there, it's level with the head, and a dot right there, it's level with the head, dot right there, level, and then a dot right there, that's level. Uh, so that's a way to set the timing. Make sure the dots on down there are level with the cylinder head. Um, um, here... We're going to move over to the other side of the bike real quick and uh, show you how to set the timing on this side. Uh, here you can see the cam lobes. There's the exhaust cam lobe and the intake cam lobe. Um, they're facing out. They're facing out like that. Uh, so there's no uh, pressure on the buckets. Uh, my light just died. Um, but there's, uh, <clears throat> they're not pushing down on the buckets, um, so 
this is where you need to be to check the clearances. So I'm gonna get my feeler gauges out here. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how exactly to measure the valve clearances here. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing it on the intake side. So on this side, uh, this is my feeler gauge right here. This is a 0.10 millimeter feeler gauge. Um, the intake clearances for this bike are 0.10 to 0.15, I believe. And then the exhaust is 0.17 millimeters to 0.22 millimeters. So the exhaust of this is this side. Then the intake is this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this feeler gauge, um, <clears throat> my 0.10 feeler gauge for the intake side, and I'm going to stick it under the uh, cam lobe here. This is the cam lobe right here. Then there's a bucket underneath the cam lobe. Then underneath the bucket there's a shim. <clears throat> and uh, over time the uh, the shims um, will get, well not really the shims, but you'll have to replace the shims with thicker ones or thinner ones um, because the valves are like always moving and adjusting so you'll need to move the um, get bigger shims or smaller shims so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking this feeler gauge sticking it down underneath the cam lobe and in between the bucket and the cam lobe and then moving it back and forth and uh, this uh, this point ten feels pretty good on this one um, you want it you want the feeler gauge to like barely barely catch on the you want to be able to move the feeler gauge freely between the bucket and the shim <clears throat> so um, this moves pretty freely but um, these are like the the only feeler gauges I have right now I don't really have any um, better ones so that's pretty much all I can tell you guys for now until I get some better feeler gauges so um, that's pretty much how you check your valve clearances and then if you if your uh, if your valves are do happen to be out of spec you need to uh, take off either your intake cam towers these are the cam towers uh, they sit on top of the cam shafts themselves they hold the cam shaft in place you're gonna need to um, <clears throat> loosen up your cam chain tensioner and then take off the cam towers um, if you do have to take off the cam towers you want to loosen the bolts in a star pattern uh, starting from the middle and then work your way out with the star pattern because otherwise you could warp the cam towers or the cams themselves <sighs> um, so that's pretty much that I'm gonna get some better feeler gauges and then I might make a follow-up video on what my clearances are so that's uh, that's that if you guys have any questions uh, post them in the comments um, thanks for watching.